Hack a Week viewer. <clears throat> hmm. You can just shut up. Hi, Hack a Week viewers. Um, got a muffin fan here. We're gonna have some fun today with a cooling fan off from a computer uh, case that I had kicking around here a couple of weeks ago. I was sitting out here in the shop and it was pretty warm in here. Um, it's not today. It's beautiful. Right now, it's nice. Uh, anyway, I was thinking of. Uh, being able to get cooled off while I'm working at the workbench and I had a bunch of these little fans kicking around. I call them muffin fans and I thought I'll just rig one up here on the bench and blow a little air on me. So I hooked this one up to 12 volts and uh, it spun up and it spun up and it spun up and it kept getting faster and faster and I don't know how many RPMs this thing hits but it's a crap load. It's really really a lot and anyway I had it laying here on the bench and uh, there was a towel nearby and some other stuff and I just let it lay there and it was like this and you know tipped over sideways because it puts out a crap load of air and it started jumping around on the bench and caught the towel once and like a freaking idiot I reached down and grabbed it which was kind of like reaching down between two dogs that are fighting to try to break it up and my hand hit one of these guys and it sliced my finger pretty good uh, multiple times it was like about four or five cuts bloody nasty hurt like hell and i called myself stupid after that but you can see the edges of this thing if we get it up there close maybe you can see just how sharp and pointy pointy those freaking blades are they're they're really they're really pointy and after i got done with that about a day or two later i was thinking you know what i could have some fun with this thing uh, in the old hack shack, maybe mounted in a Tupperware container, put a hole in the top and a tube and kind of DIY food masticator. I don't know. Let's find out what it'll do. Muffin fan, Rubbermaid plastic container, not a uh, Tupperware, Rubbermaid, whatever. So uh, I think what I'll do is mount this. This is the side that's pulling in the air. This side blows the air out mount this up on here and then uh, over here I've got a chunk of PCV pipe that I can mount on the top we'll hot glue that in place cut a hole in this and of course we want it to be like where whatever kind of garbage or totally mashed up stuff comes out the other side can exit through a hole right here and um, then we'll spin it up and we'll we'll feed it some carrots I think for starters okay, let's see First, I need to mark about where this hole's got to go. Probably should offset it a bit, like right about here somewhere. So we'll just cut a hole in this. Now we just need to mount the fan to the lid. I think some wire ties will be the call here. And mark where these holes are. And then we'll just drill some holes in there and just run a couple zip ties through it. I'm feeling too lazy to run out to the garage to get the drill, so I'm just going to melt some holes in here with ye olde soldering iron, which will make the shop smell really good. Plastic, burning plastic smell. My favorite. Takes me back to my childhood when I used to ruin my mom's butter knives over the gas stove. Melting plastic. Now I got some wire ties here, otherwise known as zip ties, otherwise known as whatever you want to call them. Um, they're not going to be long enough to go completely around here, so I'll just connect two together. That'll work. Okay, let's do the last one. Pull those buggers good and tight. Cut off the excess. we go. Phase one is complete. Is it going to fit? It's going to fit. Oh, I need a hole for the wire to come out the side. Once again, solder drill. We can just run the wires out through there like so. There we go. And there's my hopper to hold my salad. What's next? Um, 
glue the PVC piece on. Hot glue. Hot glue to the rescue. Once again, let's get this lined up. There we go, all hot glued in place. And we gotta let that dry, well, cool down, cure up. And um, you know what? I gotta run to the store. I don't have any carrots. Okay, power supply unplugged. Let's hook power up to this baby. Okay, we got power connected. Power's connected, let's just give it a dry run here. Spin it up. I wanna make sure it's spinning in the right direction. Yep. I'm telling you, this thing's ripping along. I don't know how many RPMs, a lot. I'll tell you what, let's see if we can figure out how many RPMs it is by the frequency. This is a spectrum analyzer on the smartphone. Let's power this up. We'll watch frequencies here for a minute. Looks like peak frequency is around 2,000 hertz. So does that mean we're spinning at 2,000 RPMs? I don't know, but it's fun to look at. Okay, we've got produce lined up here. I've got carrot, I've got some little red radishes, some green beans, and I think what's gonna be my favorite, cher cherry tomatoes. <laughs> um, all right, let's go for something easy first. Let's try a green bean. So we'll, we'll turn it on and we're gonna feed it in and then we'll open this up afterwards and take a, take a look at what the results are. Okay, we're powering up. Here we go. Can't let my fingers get in there. Let's take a look at the results. <laughs> Pretty much what I thought. Not so much a chopper as it is a uh, food masticator, but you know, hey, let's let's keep going. Okay, what's next? We did the green bean. Let's try dropping a radish down in the hole. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna stay out of the way. <laughs> oh, well, oh, that's not bad. I chopped it up pretty nice. There it is on the sides. Let's. Let's move on to the carrot. Pretty good torque. All right, let's see what the Muffomatic <laughs> food processor has done with the carrot. Ooh, hello. I got a little carrot, a little carrot in my cooling fan. Hey, it. Um, yeah, I got an issue with my computer. Uh, there's carrots coming out of the front. Anyway, so there it is. Almost a juicer, actually. It's kind of like not so much slices. <laughs> it's a baby food maker. Oh, this is too much fun. All right, let's move on to the piece de resistance, the cherry tomato. Okay, we're spinning up. Here we go. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> oh boy, that just that just went away. It just disappeared. Look at that. There it is. So there's um there's a nice healthy salad for your enjoyment today on our show, our cooking show. So you could serve this to your guests with um a nice um side of um <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, what else can we do with this thing? Oh my god, I have the most awesome idea. Okay. This is my canvas. <laughs> See where I'm going with this? Alright, this is my canvas. Let's get our power hooked back up to uh, this crazy ass machine. Alright, we have the uh, power cord connected here. I'm going to spin this up and um, we're going to make some food art.
Okay, we need a nice little green foliage background first. <laughs> All right, let's get a little orange for color, just a little sunshine. All righty, and let's see, let's <laughs> add a little, little red radish, like a little garden full of roses. Let's do that over here. Oh, pretty. All right, and <laughs> here we go with the... Cherry tomato. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of flying everywhere. Oh my god. Get in there, what? Whoa, okay. Let's, uh. <laughs> oh my god. Let's, um, let's pause a moment and admire our work here. Um, this is beautiful. I call this, uh, I don't know what I call this. I call this um, Garden Delight, maybe? It's kind of like Julia Child meets Jackson Pollock. So we did a Julia Pollock painting. Yeah, Sophie, Sophie's over here. <laughs> Sophie's kind of like off to the side going, yeah, you know, I'm out of here, dude. I thought there was going to be treats, <laughs> but there's not. All right, well, um, that was one of the crazier hack weeks I've ever done. You know, I could maybe eat this for lunch. Wow, modern art. You know, I could probably hang this up in the Museum of Modern Art if I clear-coated it. Um, <laughs> the other issue here is uh, the workbench and how it's going to be fun to clean that up. Let me, let me show you a little closer view of that. So let's take a little closer look at what happened to the workbench. There's my Weller. Hmm. A little tomato there. You know, I am kind of hungry. Mm, that's good. Um, there is food bits everywhere. I got a lot of cleanup to do here. My goodness. Well, while I settle in for lunch here, <laughs> you know, let's get some salt and uh, let's see. Well, I want to try the bean. I think I'll try the bean for. Mm. Yeah. That's what I thought. It does need a bit of salt. So let's put a little salt, some pepper to taste, and um, carrot. Mm. And oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Computer dust. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> this has got to be one of the most insane videos I have ever done. But you know what? It was lots of fun. That's what Hack a Week's about, is just having fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to come back next time when I do more crazy crap with this muffin fan. I think we're we're in for some more stuff with that. Maybe we can make a little mini hovercraft for Barbie dolls or something. I don't know. Maybe we could feed Barbie dolls. No, we couldn't put Barbie dolls through it. It wouldn't chop them up. Anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for all the donations. And be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time. Mm -hmm.